blessed today that I found you, girl. Cause since that day I've never been the same. But there's one thing I wanna ask of you, and baby, please answer me right. Listen, could you, could you, could you be my baby, girl? You know my heart will never let you go. And if I, if I, if I ever make you mine, I would be the greatest man in the world. Help me now. Oh, 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 oh. could you, could you, could you be mine? Oh, 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 oh. I'll be the greatest man in the world. Listen. See, like an angel, you came out of the blue. You get me with the fever and the blues. And every time I feel I'm losing my mind, cause your beauty would even make a brother go crazy. Yeah. Oh, 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 The greatest man in the world You got it right, baby What you just saw was a days of our merriment, love, excited days, happiness, togetherness, oneness, name it. And suddenly, she changed.
Give me a second. Yes, sir. Yes, of course, I am. Um, William! Yes, no, really. No, no really. I'll, I'll just have to make it necessary. Um, William! Once I keep it. So, why can't you stop here? Why can't you stop? I don't know, why can't you stop? You must have been the one that should be here to talk. <laughs> See, you know you have nothing to hide. Why? Let me just no, let me just say, okay, now why just want to say hello? Oh, there's really nothing wrong with that because you're married. You are not even asking me this. I'm not asking you what, I'm just saying that. Why can't you just say, okay, my wife wants to say hello, please? Oh, just just whatever things are better. What are you? What is this all about? What has it all to do with everything you're right now? I'm just trying to say, why do you have to get up and come and talk here? I was just excusing you, that's all. She talks to me with disgust, like I wasn't even there. There's big trouble. Big trouble. Yes, there's trouble. But listen, I think you know, I, was to I, just, I just thought it was going to be a, a, a surprise for you. Why are you so upset? What is wrong with you? William, so because of what you won't talk to me. How many times do we celebrate our anniversary? Once a year. So we go to a five-star restaurant. That Akosia and Ajiman. Ajiman, how much does Ajiman make? Akosia and Ajiman. It was even Ajiman who told me about the restaurant. So we go and just have fun and you're coming to complain about it. Don't utter anything out of your mouth. It's just going to make me more pissed off than I already am. How can I be angry because of food? Doesn't make any sense to you. You want to have fun on your anniversary, you don't have to spend 800 Ghana cities to make you happy. You order a cake the size of this house and order some stupid music people to come and play rubbish music and you expect me to be happy paying them how much? And stop comparing us to other people. I hate that. You want to be extravagant on our anniversary? But I wanted to surprise you. Oh, you wanted to surprise me? You surprised me big time. And the next time you want a bigger surprise, why don't you pay the bill? William. I don't want to talk about this issue. I want to be alone right now, please. If you want to go upstairs, go upstairs. Do something. Find something better. Like finding the eight and the is back. A way we can get it back. I'll be very happy. Don't talk about this again, please. Don't be awkward. I dream any less than you. He's not even complaining. He was able to take his wife to a five star hotel. Are they the same class and rank as me? I need to complain. What? I mean, don't husbands do it for wives? This is the first time. You tell me, I can't see you, I can't see you, I can't see you. Come here, come here, come here, cut my stomach, remove it. We're eating that thing, you didn't know how much it will cost. When, when you went, you didn't see people, people, people who are even less of class, in a class than us. You were there, they didn't even. Obviously. <sighs> Where are you going? Where is it? My tummy is hurting. You're going to use the toilet? Yeah, I want to go to the door. You're going to take a shit? Yes. No, that is not going to happen. But why? 800 Ghana City just went through your system right now and you're going to shit it out? In my toilet bowl? In less than 15 minutes? Are you out of your mind? Sit down. Well, let me go, please. Let me go. You will not go anywhere. 
This is going to be a lesson that you keep this in your head. The next time you go to a restaurant, you don't have to order the kitchen to show your friends that you're having fun. Do you understand? It can be very simple and you still enjoy yourself. Hmm? Evelyn, please. So because of this, so, so I sh I sh should I do it here? You're going to keep this because my 800 Ghana CDs is not going to go into that toilet bowl. William, please, this is this is not today's food, it's last week's food. I beg please. You used the toilet this morning, remember? So this is definitely today's food. In fact, this evening's food. And it's not gonna go down my drain, because it's my money. Uh uh. You're not gonna go. Sit. William! Ah, William! William, what are you doing? William, stop what you're doing. William! This is going to take you 800 Ghana cities to get this. You know, so try and snatch it. 800 Ghana cities. William, am I the only one who, 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 who ate the food? Did you eat? Did you enjoy it? I mean, tasted the chicken. Besides, the rice didn't even taste good. I'm wondering how you put all that in your stomach. What did you eat, Tom? William, please. Are you going to pay me? Real big, big trouble. Jay, there are a part of plates in the kitchen. So? So why are they clean? Because I went to work, I came back late, and I'm tired. Well, I'm very sure you were put off because of the amount of plates they wear. But if you wash them every time you finish eating, they won't be piled up like that, and you can wash them easily. If you have a problem with it, why don't you just go into the kitchen and wash it yourself? God! You always insist to take your place in the kitchen after we finish eating. But if I took the place in the kitchen, I would wash the dishes. But you take the place in the kitchen, so why don't you wash them if you take them? Where does it say it's my job? If you have a problem with it, why don't you go into the kitchen and wash the dishes? But you always used to wash the dishes. Why the sudden change? Because I said I am tired. I came back from work late. I am very, very tired. Obviously, you're tired filing your nails. Well, it's a lot of work if you ask me. I'm going to go to Mrs. Champon's house next door. And she's going to give us a young, beautiful girl for a maid. So when you are busy and can't wash the dishes, she's going to take full responsibility of the house and me. Okay, great. While you're there, could you please ask her for a very handsome looking driver? Because I really need one who is average eyed, handsome, has this lovely complexion, very smooth skin, if you ask me, and has a six pack. You just gave me an idea. And I know the perfect place to go for one model like figure girl with very slim waist leading down to those curved, beautiful hips, with Greek columns as legs, very athletic, who can run up and down the stairs and take care of the house. I'm getting a girl for the house. You're getting a boy. A girl. You are getting a boy. I'm getting a girl for the house. A boy. A girl. A boy. Well, I am the man of the house and I'm going to get a girl. Okay, then great. I'll also get myself a handsome driver. Oh, you need a driver. Well, leave that to me. I have 1,000 drivers in my office. I'll give you one. A little description. He has a pot belly, skinny legs, and he has hairs coming out from his ears and nose. He's very experienced because you don't need a younger one who's going to drive carelessly on the road and cause an accident. Okay? Okay, that's great. I also know an 80-year-old woman whose breasts are sagging down to the floor. 16 grandchildren, 6 kids. How about that? How do you expect an 80-year-old woman to clean the house? And how do you expect a 60-year-old man to drive me to work? Well, 60-year-old men drive? Really? Oh, you didn't know? What we got in this marriage, we agreed not to bring any houseboy or house girl into this house. Balanced equation. Oh, so that is where this is coming from. You're scared of rivals. But if you're so scared of rivals, why don't you listen to simple instructions given to you by your husband? Here we are arguing over dishes. Now, if I knew it was going to come a time when you're going to stop doing the dishes, I wouldn't have gotten married to you. Well, the next time you're going to get committed to someone else, please make sure you do a background check on that person. Thank you. Excuse me. Why the hell did I get married? Never ever listen to your prayer. You know why? Because he put the man in charge of the house and he said the man will take care of the household and the family. And now you want to take my place? Impossible. Just listen to yourself, Jay. So you knew that and you sabotaged my contract. I didn't sabotage anything. You want to mess yourself up. You came home and I was telling you you were supposed to see me before you go. That is all. And listen to one thing, you are my wife, Jay. Therefore, you are supposed to honor me the way a wife is required to honor her husband. If you have a problem with my prayers, then get out. If not, support me and just say amen. You want me to say amen to your prayers? Are you insane? And besides that, if we were all supposed to be having prayers, you know the kind of prayers I would be saying that you will be saying amen to? What kind of prayers are we going to have you having? Oh Lord in heaven, please, in the name of Jesus, just pray to you to give me a beautiful wife ten times better than the one I already have. Lord in Jesus, name, I pray to you to give me one with a beautiful figure ten times than the one I already have. 
beautiful legs, more beautiful 10 times than the one I already have, like Greek columns, skin 10 times more beautiful than the one I already have, skin like buttermilk, like caramel, and a wife who will come home every single day, go to the kitchen, wash the dishes, make food for me, up like the one I already have. Say amen. And God is going to answer that prayer. Why wouldn't he? Because in the Bible, it says one man to one woman. So what are you thinking? Then I'm going to bring another woman into this house whilst you're still here. Of course not. I am kicking you out and bringing her in. So you think God is just going to answer that hand? You got it now. You're going to throw me out? Yes. William. Since you've decided to hold your peace and not talk to me, I've done my part. Your food is on the table. You can go and eat or you can sit there. And since you have decided to stain your mind with evil thought, I have also decided to keep away from you. I will not eat your food. I will not drink your drinks. I will stop giving you your morning kisses and hugs. Keep the distance, please. And I can assure you for 100%, after this therapy, I will be awarded a contract. Until then, I will not be talking to you. There will be no connections whatsoever. Keep it that way. But thank you very much. I really appreciate your effort. Okay. Now that takes me back to the first question. Are you going to eat or not? You're doing this. You're zipping your mouth. Okay. Go zip that mouth. Fine.
To distinguish it from bush crickets and catidids, it is sometimes... shorter than their body and they have short ovipositors. They also have pinches and mandibles that cut and tear.
Jay, we've been childish. Why don't we just... Why don't we just... Why don't we just forget about it? You know why?
I asked you to wake me at 6 a.m. Shit. Jay! I did, can't you see? What? It's pasted up there. Well, since when the notes start waking people up? Since you pasted one up there yourself. I am not talking to you. Neither am I. But that is why I wrote the note last night because you were awake and I knew you were going to see it. And I specifically put on the note lots of money. Didn't you see? The next time you want somebody to wake you up, get an alarm clock. Jay! Oh, you want to play games with me, eh? All right, I'll play games with you. Jane, what the hell have you been eating? Do you know why this smells so much? Because of all the meat you eat. And I've told you anytime I want to take a shower or brush my teeth, use a guest toilet because I know I'm going to wait you for the next three hours. I was here first. married to an angel, that is what they see. But now it is up to William to pick up a gun and put it to this angel's head and blow her brains out so the whole world will see the evil thoughts that goes on in her head. Jay, I don't want you to ever come close to me again. I don't want you to get involved in my situations and my actions whatsoever. Do you understand? No, 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 no. Say it. Don't say it. story turns into a riddle. The sparkling love we shared turned into a smoky heart of a hunter. All up in my face. Hey sweetie. Yes, I'm fine. How are you doing? Really? Of course. <laughs> Listen, are you are you wearing your really wearing your, your winter clothes well? No, listen, listen to your auntie when she talks, okay? I'm serious. Yes, your dad is here. Okay, talk to him. What's up? No, don't say I'm fine when I say what's up. When I say what's up, say what's up. What's up? Aha, uh -huh, like that. How you doing, darling? How's everything? Nothing's here. But you just spoke to her. Hold on. Hey, sweetie. Of course. 
He told you what? We are fine. Listen, you're too young to do anything. Listen to this. It's, it's like two, how do I say, grown ups having a little misunderstanding. Okay? Yes, nothing serious. Yes, of course I love you too. Yes, he's here. Yes. It is not when I go, it is when I went. Say when I went. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, that's okay, that's okay. I've told you there is no playing when you're in the classroom, okay? Listen to your teacher when you're in the classroom. When you go on break, you can play. But in the classroom, you don't play, alright? Oh, let me speak with Auntie. She's in the kitchen. Okay, tell her, call her in the evening. Go to the kitchen now. Tell her, daddy said he'll call in the evening, okay? Okay, darling, I love you. Say, I love you, daddy. Say, I love you, daddy. Yes, I love you too, okay? Okay, bye. So, what the heck is wrong with you? You have to go and report me to Michael. Well, isn't he my son? He's our son. What is wrong with you? How old is he? Old enough to recognize that his father is way different than his mom. So you will go around from one neighbor to another telling them our problems. Are you jinxed? Ask yourself that question. If you're having such a big issue about all this, why don't you go from one radio station to another, one television station, and tell them that we're having problems? You know, I know you so well. Every time you want to start gossiping, this is how you just play act everything. I'm sure I'm going to hear this thing somewhere else. You know what? Don't stop from here. Go around, hold a microphone, tell everybody the Williamses are having problems, the Williamses are having problems. Maybe they can come and help us, okay? Where are you going? Where are you going? You're talking, where are you going? Jay! 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 With surprise, only if I knew there will be trouble. But no one knows. Neither do you. Maybe you wouldn't step into it. But I already have. What should I do now? You're welcome to house life. Sorry. Ow! Ow! Did you see? I can't really remember, but I just know that he's. I can't trust him anymore. He's very shady. Always getting phone calls and running off somewhere to go and talk. I know it started from there. It was my birthday. And my secretary came to my office and said she wanted to take me for a lunch break. After the lunch, she told me, well, it's a very special day for you, so I'd like you to come to my house, which wasn't too far from the office. I had a very, very sexy secretary at the time, so I followed her to her house. And I got to her house, she gave me a glass of orange juice. As I was drinking, she told me, well, this is a very special day for me, she has a very big surprise for me. She went to her bedroom, very suggestive, she just went like that. Before she closed the door, I knew she wanted to have sex with me. So I took my clothes off and waited for her in the couch. I was stuck naked. When she came out of her bedroom, she came out with her and other five friends. Apparently it was a surprise party. I didn't know. Stuck naked with a hard on. It was a surprise party. You didn't have to get naked. I didn't know it was a surprise party. That's why it was a surprise party. If I knew it wouldn't have been a surprise party, right? But you were naked. I thought she was going to have sex with me. <laughs> we weren't married at the time, were we? And you didn't wish me happy birthday. It's crap. Excuse me, so let me just receive this call. We're not getting along. We hardly talk. No communication. Nothing. That's a lie. That is very true. We always talk. No, we don't. Ha! Huh. We communicate only. Uh, what? On a piece of cardboard? It does communication. Communicate with this. No, that's not true. We talk. That shut up. We talk. We don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. We always we do. We don't talk. I don't know why you say something different. Are you always talk. Why would you put 
break me up on a, a cardboard. Does that even make sense to you? Well, I... I... Well, I... I think... Oh, you talk. No, you talk. Well, when we first got married, I... I thought it was going to be... Like this. You get it. I would have settled for this. Yeah. But come on, what the heck is this? Well, if you cut off my finger, no, yes. Well, I was expecting the same thing with a pretty face like that. I thought she was going to be like this. Well, yes, you know, I could have managed for this. What the fuck is all of this? When we started, I thought the sex was going to be awesome. Now it's just blah. We hardly do it. I remember one time I got myself into this really extremely sexy lingerie. And he was on top of me and he slept. No, I was tired. You were inside me. Who gets tired when you're inside a woman? No, I didn't realize it was inside you. You didn't realize you were... I just have to bear with it. I just have to be in it. Accommodate it. Experience it. Assimilate it. And then I move on. Disappointments, we all have them. We use them, we embrace them. And then we move on. But there is still trouble. Why are you going through your credentials? Ha! Finally, the cold of silence has finally been broken. <laughs> have you ever wondered why they use the phrase be careful for what you wish for? No, why? Because you might just have it. And you will not be able to withstand its consequences. William, what consequences are you talking about? Of all the things to wish for and pray in the world, my dear wife, you prayed and fervently prayed that I did not get a contract I badly sought after. Now you have to deal with the consequences and the actions that come with it. William, where is this conversation heading? Well, George offered me a chance to practice my profession as a gynecologist and since I missed the contract you prayed against I'm taking up his offer You would do no such thing William, you and I had an agreement An agreement you broke An agreement you failed to hold because you prayed against me getting a contract William, you're not taking up that job William you? Why don't you sit back, relax, and watch me take it? Oh, really? Then you would have to go through me first. With all pleasure, darling. With all pleasure, I will go right through you. Step aside. All right, I'll use the back door. <laughs> you dare lay your hand on me? I wanted to lay my hands on you, I'll first shut that hole in your face you call your mouth. No matter how hard you tried, I am still not picking. You can call for mass, I will not pick. I will not pick! It's my life. It's my life. Pick up the phone, pick up the freaking phone! My life. My life. My life. If William takes his job, I swear he best believe there's gonna be hell in this house. Pay no attention to her, man. She's just talking out of jealousy. That is jealousy talking. She just can't see past the fact that I'm going to be seeing naked women today, tomorrow, today, after, and probably for the rest of my life. 
It's tough, isn't it? <laughs> well, well, you know, woman. Anyways, welcome to the doctor's club, William. Nice to have you. Thank you so much again, George. I'm going to call you tonight for a drink. All right, man. Take care. All right, man. Bye. Later. Oh, just when I thought there was enough drama for the day. Oh, goodness. Hello, Ma. Oh, so Jay couldn't wait to hold on. She had to run to Big Mama to report about our family issues. Well, apparently you have been reminding me about this same issue since I got married. You can't escape my mind. This keeps drumming in my head. But then, uh, Mom. I think we're old enough now, we can handle issues ourselves and we can take control of our own um, this and that. So, thank you so much for your time, I really appreciate it. Any external interference could probably drift us apart. Yes, Ma, I understand. Sorry for being late. Can you please put your legs up for me quickly? Okay, it is really quick and we get over and done with. But I'm sure you're fine. Absolutely. Yeah. It's quite a hectic day, isn't it? Sorry for the sweat. It's a bit. Alright, just relax. It's not gonna hurt, I promise you. So just relax. Relax, alright? Uh, tell me if you feel pain, okay? Nope. Yeah, you feel pain? Huh? No pain? Okay, that's good. Hold on. There. Pain? 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 Are you really comfortable? Oh, yeah, just relax. It's under control. I have to vandalize uh, this. Probably. You'll have to, uh, Equipment to wear. Pain? Pain? Oh, yes, I know what it is. You're fine. Gosh. Um, you can sit up now. Don't worry, it's all. There's nothing to worry about. Everything will be fine. Ah! She's just about to call you. Which is a bitter pill to swallow. First, you will love me. I figure why you didn't deserve it, my love. But I'm me, I'm me, I'm me. Now I feel like I will die tomorrow. Today was a memorable day for me and I loved it. Why won't you love it? Why won't you love it? When that hotel you call a consulting room is full of all the naked women parading in search of a treatment, William is coming to save the day. Well, William pause. the doctor, William the doctor. Pause, pause, reset. Even a general in the war front knows when to cease fire. Goodness. You have no idea how hectic she was at the hospital. Didn't come for this beautiful singing. <laughs> what I need right now is just my food and my bath, okay? But if you're not ready to give me food, I'm gonna walk straight to my bedroom and take a bath. William, I thought I told you that you're gonna have a glimpse of hell. If you don't stop that joke, you call a job. Would you please tell your mum that her jurisdiction power doesn't include my house? She should just keep it in the confines of her husband's bedroom, okay? And oh, the meeting on Wednesday, oh, Saturday, sorry. I won't be available, so count me out. And just in case, 
just in case you happen to see your mom to talk about her family issues, just give her this message for me and I will be very, very happy. Okay? I'll be inside. William! William, how dare you talk about my mother like that? Williams! How dare you talk about my mother like that? doesn't have any right to butt into our family affairs. I'm a man capable of handling our family issues. No, I don't need a meddling mother-in-law sniffing over my shoulder like a hound. Hey, I can swear that I saw the beauty in your eyes. So how come not today I feel like a bloody fool? Like a businessman who threw money for the baller. Then I start to cry. <laughs> Do you have any idea why I asked us to move in here? Because this is not your parents' place. This is my place and it puts me in charge. Yes, it does. In charge! I feel like the one in charge. <laughs> you see? In charge. Like that. Use the other room. I'll be fine here. Do you want me to go and sleep in the other room? Yes. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. Other room. First thing in the morning. Yes, doctor. I'll be there tomorrow morning. Thank you. Sorry for disturbing you. Bye. Honey. Don't. Don't, honey me. Seriously. It's just your first day at work and it's after working hours and they're still calling you. I'm a doctor. So? Every second is working hours and even now, you're still working hours. Oh, no, I'm not. But you know, it's still working hours, son. Just relax, please. Hmm? Mm -mm. 
Hello? Hello, doctor. Doc, I'm feeling it in my belly now. What do I do? Doc, are you there? Um, Aggie, I gave you a prescription. Have you taken your painkillers? Because I'm... And besides, besides, hold on a second. Um, did you just miss any course during the week? Like you didn't take a tablet or two? Have you been persistent? Yes, doctor. I have taken it the way you said I should take it. Persistent, I've been constant. But I'm afraid I'm so feeling the heat. The baby, it's oh. perfected of me, doctor. By nine o'clock, just be at the hospital, okay? Just don't wait till it grows and take some painkillers this evening. I gave you some at a time. And um, I think you'll be fine. But just give me a call, just in case it goes on for the next hour. All right? Okay, doctor. Thank you very much. God bless you. Sorry for disturbing you. Eh? Oh, Aggie, I am here for you. Anytime you can call. That is why I'm your doctor. Okay? So just feel free. See you tomorrow morning then. Oh, you are loving doctor. Bye. <gasps> Darling. William, you are there for other people, but you cannot be there here for your wife. What do you mean, baby? I, hey, don't make any mistake. Oh, you are my wife. <laughs> I will honor you the way your husband is required. And I will be. Will you don't pick up this one, please? It's don't pick up the phone, William. Don't pick up the phone. I've already picked. Sorry. Hello? Hello, is this Dr. William? Yes. Uh, my wife's not. My wife's water is broke. It's broke. Please. Yes. It broke? Yes, it broke. Now. Please don't hurry, hurry, hurry. Do you have to go? William! William! Damn you, William. Baby. My mother's willing to pull some strings for you. Honey, you, you know didn't that? change the batteries. I asked you to change the batteries. You know, I always use it. I'll just swap them. My mother's willing to pull some strings for you. Her friend who's a member of parliament owes her a favor. Did you hear me? Huh? Yeah. You said what? Yeah, so what's that got to do with me? Well then, she's going to give you two housing contracts. And that means you get to keep all the profits. It came. Oh yeah? <laughs> wow. Well that sounds interesting. Knowing your mom. I'm sure she wants something in return. <laughs> you two haven't resigned trying to make me quit my job. I know that. And I did you about a knife or something so we can take the seeds out. Why? My mother wants what's best for us. Baby, you get to make a whole lot of money. And then we still have time for each other. You still don't get it, honey. My urge to practice. It's not about money. It's about me being a man. I'm trying to take what's mine. Stand on my own two feet. And take control of the house. No, no money. Really? Do I jostle you for control? No. Do I ever undermine your position as the head of the family? Mm -mm. Because you know I love you too much to do that. I love you too, honey. So mm? would you take the job, please? As long as you walk along, you will take the drink. You have a duty. You have a duty to do different things. And any man who knows his job, he knows what to draw the line between them. I'm telling you. Any true man knows that this is duty and this is love. Don't mix them both, darling, please, okay? I've had enough handouts, all in the name of contracts, from your parents. It's okay. I want to take what's my control my destiny. This family must live solely on my income. Nothing extra, okay? Even if it threatens on the core values of our marriage. The love and the friendship we share. 
Nagyon jó. William, don't pick up. Even if my love doesn't want me to, I'm duty bound to pick it up. How do you need to understand someone's life can be a stake? All right? It's my job. Come on. Hello? Doc, Madam Clay is in labor. Okay. And her temperature has dropped. Okay, fine. Just take it easy. Uh, is Mary there? No, please. She's on my shift. How about Agnes? Agnes is not there. And Patricia is also off. Patricia is off. Yes. Alright, tell Margaret. Call Margaret. Margaret is in Margaret, Margaret is in extension. Yes, Doc. Call Margaret to take over. I'll, I'll be there in a minute. Yes, Doc. We are waiting for you, Doc. Oh, I'll be right there. I told you. You see? Emergency. William. I just have to take on my coat and go there. Honey. Gynecologist in this world. Don't call this phone again. You hear what I said? Don't call this phone again. Stop it. Yeah. Doc, please. Your wife is on line one. Should I patch her too? Hello. Doc, what should I do? Tell her I'm busy. Okay. Just have six folders here. Where are the rest? Yeah, with me. I'm bringing them right away. All right, bring them now, quickly. I've been trying to call him for how many times? He hasn't even picked up the phone. You don't understand, Rosa. I am losing it. We don't even talk. We don't do anything. All we just do is just cry every single day. You think I haven't tried? Even in...
Forgive me with heartfelt sympathy. I know how difficult this time has been for you. It hurts so much to lose someone like you. I'm so sorry for your loss. Recovery is a journey. Just die and get over and done with. And I'm sure that it'll be perfect for you. Excuse me. Can I have all of these? I'm going to see you again. Jay! No, Jay, please don't leave me. I... You left the account numbers as well here. I what am I going to do with all this money when you're gone? I don't want that anymore. I just want you to go, Jay, please. Jay! I'm having a phone call. I'm sure that the people calling me to ask me if you're really dead. Oh, they're so calling Jay, please don't leave me, please. What's wrong with you? Are you you're alive? Yes. Oh shit. I thought you were dead. I thought I was rich. I have to shave! I have to go and find him! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my goodness!
gift and the love of a woman. You said he who finds a wife finds a good thing. So I thank you. To me. 